Well, hello everyone. Welcome to the Azure AI language learning video series. I'm Ronak Chokshi, a product marketer on the Azure AI team here at Microsoft. And I'm super excited to share this series where we'll showcase new cutting edge natural language processing capabilities based on GPT and other large language models. All right, let's say you are, if you're a healthcare provider or a clinician, have you come across situations where you wish you had an automated way to label medical data and extract insights from it using a robust, secure, and a cost-effective solution? Well, you've come to the right place. In this video, Rina Lu, a product manager on the Azure AI team leading the text analytics for health product for us, will show us how clinicians, doctors, and hospitals are using the skill to achieve operational efficiencies using Azure AI language. Pretty cool. Over to you, Rina. Thanks, Renok. We know that text-based data from medical records, such as prescriptions and patient reports, are often information and detail heavy. Luckily, Azure AI Language offers a service called Text Analytics for Health, or TA4H, which can parse complex text-based medical data and extract keywords and relationships. TA4H contains four key functions. The named entity recognition function highlights and labels key terms from input text, such as diagnosis, symptom, and treatment. The entity linking function links plain text terms with their unified medical language system metathesaurus, or UMLS codes. The relation extraction function associates related terms such as treatment type and time of treatment. The assertion detection function labels terms with contextual modifiers like certainty, conditionality, and association. Let's take a hypothetical user scenario. Say we are an insurance company that needs to analyze a prescription to process a claim. Let's assume that the document has already been converted to a TXT file. Now let's log into Azure AI Language Studio to parse these documents in real time. You can see that we offer many different language services, including summarization, translation, and more. We also offer pre-built and custom analytic services. With the pre-built service, the machine learning models are already trained and ready to support our four core functions. But we can also customize the models with additional data. For our hypothetical scenario, I'm going to select pre-built text analytics for health. I'll start by using this example prescription text. It says, patient needs to take 100 milligrams of ibuprofen and 3 milligrams of potassium also needs to take 10 milligrams of Zocor, patient needs to take 50 milligrams of ibuprofen and two milligrams of Comedin. You can see on the right here that we also have the option to toggle between having the output being returned in FHIR or Fast Healthcare Interpretability Resources, FHIR structure, which we also have integrations with. And now I'll run the service. You can see here that the results are both in original text form and in the format of a JSON. I'll start by removing the relationship displays for simplicity. As you can see from the input text, we have key medical information identified and labeled. 100 milligrams is recognized as a dosage and ibuprofen is recognized as a medication name. Now, if I turn on the relationship toggle, we can also see that the analysis covers the functionality of relationship extraction. For each of these, prescriptions, the dose term is correctly linked with the medication name it's associated with. We also have integrations with the Unified Medical Language System Metathesaurus, or UMLS. As you can see here, we have the UMLS code for ibuprofen as C0020740, which may be very helpful in logging insurance claims. If we are instead looking for the corresponding ATC code for ibuprofen, say we're using the Anatomical Therapeutic Chemical Classification System, then we can select this dropdown and see that the ATC code is M01AE01. We can also parse information in JSON form. Here on the JSON tab, we can see again that the first entity term was 100 milligrams and it was labeled as the entity category of dosage with a 99% confidence score. We also have the length and the offset listed. Moving on to the next entity, we have ibuprofen recognized in the text and it's been categorized as a medication name 
with a confidence score of 100%. We also see the character offset and character length listed here, as well as a list of links showing the various relevant UMLS codes. As you can see, this made the task of analyzing your medical text data fast and easy. You can try this out now on Language Studio by going to aka.ms slash language dash studio. To learn more about Text Analytics for Health or any other Azure AI language service, go to aka.ms slash Azure dash language or click on the links in the description of this video.